How about that for a title of a video? Um, so what I have here is if you look at it quick, it looks like it says Super Bowl Prep Kit. But <laughs> no, 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 no. Super Prep or Super P Bowel Prep Kit. And uh, you know what I like to do after I have a colonoscopy? <laughs> I like to show off my Derek Jeter rookie card collection. Um, but, but no, in all seriousness, I, I did do this. I went through with it. And I just want to share with you the experience. Um, now, I'm not uh, 50. Um, I'm actually 46. But they recently lowered the age to when uh, insurance will cover this sort of procedure because the incidence of colon cancer is increasing in this country and younger and younger people. Uh, not that I was expecting to have any um, issues. I'm just OCD about my health, and I figure, why not? If insurance is going to pay for it, I'll go ahead and do it get it out of the way. Uh, I got to tell you, the worst part about it is this right here. Um, I know when you think about colonoscopy, it sounds pretty frightening. Um, it, it's no big deal. This sucks, though. Um, I had a drink, uh, two bottles, one last night, one this morning, mixed with water. And it tasted, I, I, if I even think about it, I could almost taste it again and want to gag. It's like a, a grape Robitussin with a consistency that's slightly thicker than water, it is so effing foul. And uh, you can't eat, really. I mean, chicken broth or clear liquids or anything like that. That's really all you can do. And that was um, a struggle. I had a massive headache, probably as a combination of the dehydration uh, and then also the just the lack of food in my system. Um, and I need to eat. I wait. I'm 213 pounds. Well, I was, I was 213 pounds uh, yesterday morning, um, today I'm 209 pounds. So, uh, yeah, this will clean you out. Um, and, and this is the worst part of it. And so I went there and, uh, it's really no big deal. They knock you out. And, uh, the doctor had told me that, um, Hey, you know, when you get up, you might have some cramping. Um, you're going to have gas from whatever reason, you know, um, I was like, okay, fine, whatever. And man, he wasn't kidding because, I come to, and, and the nurse comes in, she's like, hey, you, you doing all right? How you doing? I said, well, I'll be honest with you. I feel like I could power a small hot air balloon at the carnival right about now. And uh, I said, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to spare you. I'll wait till I'm in the parking lot. <laughs> and she's like, no, 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 it's okay. Um, everybody does it, and don't worry, it's not going to smell because, you know, you're all cleaned out, and it's not going to be log filtered. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like, no, 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 I'll hold it. You know, because I'm just like, I don't really want to, you know, punish these people. Um, they bring my wife in just as, you know, I'm in the recovery room and, and I, the nurse walks out and I just couldn't wait any longer. And, uh, I swear to God, I unleashed, uh, the longest, slowest roaster that I think I've ever done in that, in that recovery room. And my wife was, she almost pissed her pants. Um, but I was like, you know what? I, I don't care. It was so much pain and I felt so much better. And I did it two more times. Um... And that was that was it, but uh, I thought y'all might enjoy that. Um, but anyway, it's uh, I mean I honestly I felt like I felt like uh, Uncle Ted in the recliner after a big Thanksgiving meal. You know, you just you ate a lot, you're sitting down, and you you just unload it all. You know, and everybody gets to bask in the effluvia. But uh, fortunately, there wasn't any of that because as, as the nurse said, there's nothing in there. So um, I'm good. The every, I have pictures. I'm not going to show you the pictures. Uh, there's nothing in there, um, as I expected. But like I said, you never know. Um, and so I thought it was good to just get it out of the way. And I guess I'm good for, um, I don't know, 10 years. And, of course, I play devil's advocate. I said, all right, well, what if I get a polyp next year? And then I wait nine years, and then by then it's developed. And it's like, no, no, no. It's unlikely that's going to happen, um, you know, because they're so it takes so long to develop in your uh, – in your intestine or whatever. So anyway, I thought you might enjoy my uh, colonoscopy experience. Uh, the worst part about it is the preparation. After that, it's, again, it's no big deal. Um, so just FYI, and then just to keep this uh, a little bit on topic with my channel, there's my Derek Jeter rookie card collection. Expecting him to be uh, inducted uh, this evening. And uh, that'll do it. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, talk at y'all later.